and gentlemen, welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now clear for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. Um, welcome back to Hunky Dory TV. We had a little bit of a break, an extra day off to celebrate the bank holiday, although I think I'd have rather been here because it was rainy. Um, I'm sure it was rainy where you were as well. We've got a great new product to show you today. We've also got a brand new guest um, who I'm very excited to introduce you to. Um, I, would, I know that everyone is very excited to meet her as well. Um, so let's head over and say hello to Rebecca. Hi. Hi, Rebecca. Good morning. How are you today? I'm really good, thank you. Yeah. Are you excited? I, yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, definitely. So, um, Rebecca um, was one of the very, um, there was lots of people actually, who applied when we put out our Facebook post about wanting a new um, friend to come and join us in our crafting, um, I don't know what I would say, crafting lair, cave, however you <laughs> yeah. want to call it. Yeah. Um, but um, yes, yeah, so we're very excited to have her here. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Rebecca. Um, yeah, so I obviously saw the opportunity on Facebook and being a Hunky Dory fan anyway, I just thought I'll go for it. And you're a local lass. Yes, Which I we am. love. I live in Preston, the home of Hunky Dory, so oh, yeah. yeah, not too far. No, no, it's, um, it's very, very exciting. And how, how did you get into crafting? Because you only, you did it sort of like a wed, as your, when you did your wedding stuff, yeah. didn't you? Um, yeah, like, so I've done bits and pieces like uh, over the years. And then two years ago when I got married, um, I sort of did quite a lot of um, like my table plan and sort of centerpiece decorations. And then I kept it up a little bit and then um, got into it a lot more over, over lockdown, like probably a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, I think loads of people sort of headed towards crafting um, during lockdown just for something to do because um, it's so much fun. And I think for me as well, I love to make things for people. Now, I know you like to make things for people as well. Yeah, um, definitely. Making gifts and frames and cards for friends and family. I think it's just special, isn't it, to have something handmade for something that you've made to give to someone that, and you know that they're going to keep it as well. Yeah, definitely. It's really satisfying to like just make someone something and then just... To just to see them smile and yeah. like enjoy it or put it up in their home, it's, it is. it's really satisfying. It is my favourite thing, I think, about crafting. Um, well, we are definitely going to see more of um, Rebecca today and over the next few months, so don't worry about that. We've got some um, news to show you before we get into our show, though, because there's loads coming up today. Um, first of all, we have our brand new Crafting with Hunky Dory issue 59 and competitions um, that are included in that are now available on our hub. You can enter there to win some amazing prizes. You can also um, head over to the website and pick up your copy of issue 59. Um, it's filled and filled with amazing things. There's loads of really cool features in this one again. Um, so maybe if you've not, um, I think this, there's uh, colouring on craft card, which is really cool. Um, there's lots and lots of different things for cards you could make with collections we've brought out recently, which is really um, fun. There is, there is. We have a new section where Dan spills the beans on what's coming up. So if you want to be nosy and get ahead on um, what we're going to be doing here over the next couple of months, then that's the page you want to be get, getting to. We'll show you that a little bit later on, but it is £8.99 and if you want to get it then head over to um, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk um, and you can go pick up yours there. We have a win it weekly question. Now, I carried on talking there 
always do forget it doesn't it's a little VT um, now this is your chance to win some incredible prizes that we are going to show you um, over this week so you've got three chance well, you've got two chances to answer uh, the question this week and there's going to be four winners now this week's amazing prize is our decoupage books now these are um, our three newest books they are really cool that was going a little bit fuzzy there Emily what's going on here are we nearly there who knows but you have Teddy Loves, you've got Lovely Ladies, and you have um, The Midnight Garden. Now, these decoupage books are amazing. So inside all of these, you have your base layers, which are um, on this really nice sort of satin paper finish. And then on the pages to follow, you have your um, elements, which you are free to cut out. Um, layer those up and they create some stunning decoupage projects. There's so many different designs in here um, but then not only do you get one pad you're also going to win three pads here and four people are going to win. So let's have a look at the competition question for this week. Oh <laughs> so how many years was the longest bout of hiccups? Was it A, 11 years, B, 29 years, or C, 28 years? 68. 68. 68. <laughs> I'm not sure, you know. They all seem like a really long time. Honestly, <laughs> well, really that's what I was time. thinking. I thought like maybe there might be like an hours on there or, you know, maybe like Days. one day. But years is quite extreme. I don't, I don't think I've ever had hiccups for longer than maybe like half an hour. Yeah, maybe maybe a f maybe on and off a few hours, but that, that that must be painful. That's a lot. And like, does this happen during your sleep? I know. Imagine waking up halfway through your sleep, hiccuping. Like, I don't even know what I'd do about that. Like, you'd that's be, so you'd uncomfortable. Be quite annoyed. You would. You would. Um, so get your um, comments on this video for what you think the answer is. You need to like, share. And comment, um, and four lucky people are going to win that decoupage um, book bundle on Friday's show. That is a pretty good prize. It's worth over £28.77. Um, so get your comments in now. Now we've done all the bits and bobs for the day. Um, let's have a look at this show VT and have a look what's coming up. are these so this is um, our newest selection of popper topper pads um, and they are just the most adorable things ever not only are they like super cute and they're just they fit so perfectly in all of your craft drawers your different bits and pieces that you've got um, but also they are jam-packed full with um, designs in here you're going to get um, 45 sheets in total and it's on our 300 GSM Foil, they're all foiled, they're all die cut. You get 15 of each, de 15 designs, but there's three of each in here. So if you're someone who likes to make the same card a number of times, or you have craft stalls or fairs, um, and you can make, say, three of the same card, and then you've got different options, or if you like to make cards that are sort of, or have the ability to make cards really fast. So if someone comes to you and says, could you make a card with um, a dog on it, or a a unicorn or something like that and then you have the ability to do it really fast with your popper topper pads they're only £11.99 um, so let's have a look through the first one this is our cute and cuddly popper topper pad now the artwork in here is adorable like I said you've got um, unicorns in here and they've all got really nice shapes in here they're all quite different um, they're all foiled you can just pop them out um, like you would with a normal topper set you've got different um, sentiments that are all in different sizes but like I said three of each in every design the next one is a Halloween themed one which 
I think is super cute. You loved making cards with this one, didn't you? I definitely did. I like cute toppers anyway, but these were so sweet. They are just adorable. Imagine making um, your Halloween boxes, gift yeah, bags. Yeah, trick or treat popping, goodies. Popping these toppers on. Um, they're going to be amazing. This one's super cute with a little spaceman. And I love that you get lots of borders in here as well. So there's lots of room for, um, you know, jazzing up your cards, filling space. Um, but they're just some really nice topper shapes. Perfect for making smaller cards with. But if you want to make larger cards, you can always create some beautiful backgrounds with your adorable score ball. This one is one of my favourites for sure. This one is a holy moly. It's your birthday. And it's a little <laughs> mole with glasses on. He is adorable. Then we've got this um, fun crowd of people. You can imagine these having lots of fun at a party. Um, loads of different bright colours throughout this topper set. Um, it is really cute in the design, as it says on the pad. Then you've got these little um, cats. What is next? I think I've missed one out. Nope. Oh, this one. This oh, one is yeah. one of my favourites. Um, this one reminds me of A Secret Life of Pets. Yeah, I love that movie. I feel it really like does. They've all got their own little personalities. They're all a little bit mischievous when you're at home, which is actually really hilarious because um, me and Dan um, have had an offer accepted on a house. So the first port of call is to get a puppy, of course. Oh, yeah. Um, and Dan said yesterday that he wanted to install a CCTV camera so he could watch the dog while he's at work. <laughs> that is so cute though. But I that do that. But that is secret life of pets, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you're going to see what they're doing all the time. Um, we've got this beautiful, I love this one. This one's perfect for a new baby card. Something that's a little bit different um, than your average ones. You've got the little mama elephant and the baby elephant on there. We've got this get well soon with a very cute teddy bear. Oh, this this is so cute. cute. Don't, don't they just remind you of those little suits you find? Yeah, with, with, with ears on <laughs> it's just adorable then this one this guy's getting lots of posts must be his birthday for sure and then finally you have this beautiful little teddy bear with her um, flower pots um, like I said so many different shapes and sizes in this topper um, this pop topper pad it's crazy so i'm going to show you some makes actually so you can see what you can um, be getting home so we've got this lovely little easel here that rebecca has made um, and i love the way you've laid out the toppers on here because you wouldn't necessarily think to put to sort of mix the shapes up the way that you have done um, and i love the use of all of the border strips as well then we've got this very cute one like I said, look how you can mix and match these with your adorable scorable, with your pattern papers that you've got with your adorable scorable pattern packs. It's just the cutest thing ever. Oh, then we've got this one. Every girl, little girl, for sure. Not even little. I love unicorns. I love unicorns. Loves a unicorn. But this one with Rainbow Mirion. Wow. It just makes them stand out. It makes them look so magical. It's the cutest little thing ever and you can be making cards like this when you get this collection home um whether you buy the one pop tab pad whether you buy them all together because remember you can do that um these are all included in a multi-buy you can get all four of them um that's 36 pounds for all four so that's the first one that is our cute and cuddly and then on to the next one um is our popper topper a life of leisure now this one's great for all of the males in your life um, all those people who love sports different things like that and this one again is all in gold foil I want to say I don't think there's a mixture of foil in this one but I could be mistaken because I normally am um, but this one's great you've got some really lovely traditional sort of gardening let me get that into the center so you can actually see it gardening scenes in here we've got the harbor um, you've got another one, but this one um, and the colours that are in it, this one could also be for um, a female who loves to garden. You've got that lovely pattern in there. Then we've got the um, sort of really traditional aeroplanes. You've got cricket. And I, I really love the, uh, the style of the artwork in this pop-topper pad. 
it's very very nice it's super um, like I said traditional it's very classic in style of hunky dory um, collections but it's just perfect it's going to be great to make cards with for all the um, different males in your life this one's very cute as well for any of those readers people who love to sit with a book um, you can do that then um, this one with the wine what else have we got in here we've got the classic cars for those people who love to make and build their own cars we've got a motorbike as well um, I remember actually last week when we did a hobbies for him someone asked for a motorbike yeah, topper they did. they did didn't they yeah. we've well, got one in the, in here we've got golf included and then this one is very very nice with that beautiful shed imagery you've got some lovely border edges as well um, all the sentiments are really nice on each page they're sort of a really great mix for lots of different occasions as well um, I know as well that Rebecca is going to do her first demo using this topper yes, so let's have yeah. a head over to the demonstration station um, and see what she's going to make for us yeah I am going to use that one actually um, the garden shed um, I just really I really liked it I thought it was so nice and especially hopefully this time of year as well be getting out into the garden as long as it's not rainy like Monday. Oh, I know. You can persevere if it's raining. You can, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to make a fold-back card, but I'm actually going to make my own blank, um, which was just a little tip that I picked up from one of, the mag one of our magazines. But I quite like making my own card blanks. I think it's fun, especially when you can get quite creative then, can't you, and make different things. Yeah, and as well, five by sevens are always the first to run out they in my like, stash. Yeah, they're my favourite card blank to Me use. too. They're just, they're a classic, they're not too big, not too small. No. Nope. And so I think if you can make your own, um, it's quite obviously handy for like those times when you're just running out or waiting for your order to come. So I'm just going to cut a piece of A4 inkney cardstock down to 10 inches and then seven. And then that will give me my base. Um, so I'll move them out of the way. And then I'm just going to bring the scoreboard in so that I can start doing the folds. So I will just pop it on the scoreboard. And obviously if you've got one of these, like you just make your own oh, blanks all the time. It's so handy. I love my adorable scoreboard. Me too. Um, but like I say, it just means you can just make your own blanks like so, so quickly. So you score it two and a half. And then you score halfway down at five. And then I'm just gonna go over that two and a half again and that five. So they're nice and strong. And then I think that should be done. And then I'm just gonna just sort of fold those scores and just go over them with the tool. And then just this one back here to make you fold back. And then that's your base. It's like, crazy. It's so done. simple. It's yeah, done. it's done. And like I say, you can actually cheat and just use a five by seven and score the front and half. But then but you're sort of ruining all your card blanks. So you can just, it's just as easy to take your A4 and make one. Yeah, and it's quite, yeah, like I say, I quite like making my own card blanks. It's quite, um, it's quite satisfying. Um, so I'm just going to grab some double sided tape because I'm going to mat and layer this with Miri. So I've obviously just done my first mat with um, just a five just a five by seven like piece of mirror and then I'm just going to put three pieces of tape on it lots of people are joining us lots of people are guessing oh my gosh they're guessing 68 years Emily who could do who could hiccup for that long that's the longest answer that's, isn't it I know that's the highest answer on there um, and lots of people I guess in this. So I do think our good friend Google has been um, used it's in, been our in, friend. in some of, some that, of these this, answers here. That is nearly your whole life. Re it is really, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. It's a very long time. But we'll find out all about it on uh, Friday's show. We'll know how long, when it started, how long it lasted for. We'll have all the facts for you. Right. So I've just peeled my tape, but I do always leave a little bit of a cheat tab just in case, just so that it's like perfect. And then I'm just gonna mat that on there and then you can just peel them off. 
just means you get your mats and layers like really straight. And then I'm just going to do the same for this smaller piece. So this is two and a half by um, seven. And then that'll just cover that fold back piece really nicely. I think I like doing fold back cards. Yeah, they they're just, nice, aren't they? Yeah, they just add that little touch of like fun to the card instead of it because you could do exactly the same design that you're going to do here on a on like a, a flat card but this is just going to add that little extra touch and people are going to think wow that's taken a lot of time to do yeah um and people are going to love the sort of fancier style to the card so it's a really good card to sort of show i think as well with the popper topper pads is that like they're just they're so cute and easy is you can spend a bit more time maybe on your base yeah and like like you say just sort of experiment with those like nice fancy folds and different you know, designs for your backgrounds yeah, as well yeah absolutely yeah and fancy you, with your dies yeah definitely because obviously the toppers are so quick and easy that you can you might have that bit more time to spend on your backgrounds or your folds Perfect, so I've done that, and then I'm actually going to bring in, um, because this is the great thing about the popper topper pads as well, is you can like utilise other things that we do. I agree. So I've just got the um, Duo Design paper pad. This is this is one of our like new ones, isn't it? Cottage yes. Garden and Beautiful and Burlap. It's the most stunning paper pad ever. It's lovely, isn't it? So I'm going to go with the burlap side. Um, so, like you say, some of the floral details, you could use the Cottage Garden sort of side. And I'm just going to take a piece of this sort of brown burlap um, that is going to print fit so well it, with the yeah. topper. It, it just coordinates perfectly. I saw it and I was like, yep, that's what's going on in the background. Um, okay, okay. So I just need to do. Um, so that's a five by seven. So I'm just going to cut sort of three notches off here. She's a notches girl. I am. I've got that like from watching the shows. Oh, notches. They're just they're, the best. They're just handy, aren't they? They are. No one needs to know the correct math. No, abs no. And then I'm gonna do three notches under the two and a half for this one here. I think that should be fine. Perfect. And then I'm going to go in with my tape again. Your mum's watching. My oh, mum? Yeah. yeah. She said she's a very proud mum right now. Oh, she's she so sweet. And should be. Oh, that's really, that's really nice. She's, she's so great. I've missed her a lot in lockdown. It's nice to like be able to start seeing her like in the I garden think and so. stuff. It's so nice to be able to see everyone again. And I'm sure lots of people did that on Saturday and Sunday enjoy time with their families um having little chats in the garden meeting up it's um sit down and enjoy a cup of tea yeah. it's lovely to actually be able to sit down as well i mean it's it's uh, it's it sounds really strange but you've just not been able to do that have you you've just it's had to stand there on the wait, doorstep yeah, just wait outside i know i know it's um it's so nice to just spend time together and like it is the simple things isn't it it is it's all we've missed really isn't it just yeah the, just the simple thing yeah definitely so i'm just gonna pop that on there like that and then and then just do my other one really quickly <sighs> It looks so it good, looks doesn't it? It does. It's so detailed. Yeah, it's it's lovely. I think that's what I love about these um, paper pads that we've got as well. They work so well with lots of different things, especially things like our decoupage books, which you could be winning on our Win It Weekly. All these popper topper pads that we're gonna that we've brought to you today. Um, there's so many different designs. We've got six now, um, six different paper pads, and they're double sided. Um, so you can get really, really fancy with all the little bits and pieces that you do. But it's just the best, the best thing. And they go so well with um, so many collections that we bring to you. I can see some of the cards um, that I've got coming up to show you that use um, one of the paper pads, actually. I think it's the Maps one. And that has a really sort of nice textured 
um, paper background. So you can you can really use them for so many different things. And I think it's great how universal they are as well, that they work for all these different things. Yeah, definitely. Themes. And these are just the kind of things to like be bringing in for them. Like, you know, we just know that you're going to get, they're just going to, they're just like a must have for your stash really. Right. Sorry about that. I just couldn't find the end of this red tape. This red tape is a bit, um, it's not very forgiving. No, no, um, it's not. It's like a little bit tricky. So I'm just actually going to go onto my fold back and then just do a line of red tape just because I'm going to put, just continuing on with like the burlap theme, I'm going to put some like twine on. Very nice, which, very nice. Yeah, which if you're a gardener, you will have anyway in, well, in either your gardening or your craft stash, um, probably going to have some twine. So I just thought I will just pop some on, make it look really sweet and just, like I say, just make it a bit extra like as well as the top is just add that bit of like dimension into it this is very funny um shelly has commented to say I, I recently told you that i've converted to notches and now i'm having real trouble in baking <laughs> oh. well um i don't know what we could do about that i'm afraid <laughs> maybe maybe I'll, I'll think about it and we'll come up with with something yeah but i think you've got to keep to You've got to keep to the baking measurements, otherwise you just... Yeah. I, I don't think there's a notch is equivalent for no, baking. No, it's going to end up, it's going to end up quite badly. Yeah, I, I it's, feel. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's no sort of notches in baking. You've got to, you've got to kind of get it right. Otherwise it's just going to be disastrous, isn't it? You're going to have a soggy bottom. Not a soggy bottom. Not a soggy no bottom. No one wants that. No, they do not. Well, I'm... Are you much of a baker, Natalie? No. Well, I try. <laughs> no. 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 I do try. Yeah. I think when I found out I was gluten intolerant, I oh, sort yeah, of, of like fell out of love with yeah. baking because obviously I can eat it. What was yeah. I going to bake for? Um, yeah. But there is, a f oh my gosh, the most amazing recipe book has come out for anyone who is gluten intolerant or suffers um, with sort of gluten in any way yeah um and it's by a girl called becky excel and it's how to make anything gluten free and it's amazing i know our hannah who works in mar the marketing team um she's at home she might be on the comments today she'll definitely be watching um her and her boyfriend chris have got the recipe book as well and they've been baking and it's the best thing in the world like i've actually had for the first time in about five years real cookies oh that, that, that and was they, so oh, nice and they tasted they tasted so good. They weren't, they weren't shop ones. They were actual home baked cookies, and they're amazing. Aww. I did try and make a lemon cake though, and it went disastrously wrong. Lemon cake, yeah. I think it was a bit too. That was a bit too soggy. It just did not stand. I think right. it's lemon juice, isn't it, with lemon cake? Yeah, like you've, got to, you've got to get the consistency right, haven't you? Yeah, you do. You absolutely do. Okay, so I'm just actually like doing the fun part now, which is just sticking all the toppers on. I am just going to, I'm not going to spend too long on this because I'm not, um, I'm not too bad with my pips, but I do like to chop off any sort of really obvious ones just to give it that bit of a better finish. Cool. And then I'm going to go in with my foam pads and just sort of see where I need to go to. I'm just going to literally just do a little pencil. Mark just on where I need to go to. This side. Zara says she needs some tips to get her mojo back, please. Get the magazine. Yeah, the magazines get the are magazine. great. Sit and have a read. There'll be loads of things you want to try out once you've um, had a look through there, had a look at all the amazing projects that the team have made. Um, that is definitely my favourite thing to do when I've lost my mojo is to, to spend some time having a little read at some um, projects, maybe some things I've never tried before. And just go for it. That's that's how I I think you can get it back. Yeah, definitely. Or just even just to get some like inspiration. Yeah. What to do. Or like layouts and stuff. Like it's, it's just yeah. It definitely makes you feel um, like you can do it. And I think I promise with, you. With our magazine, like with the gifts that come with it, it's like you're not going to read it and think, oh, I can't do that because I don't have it. Because it uses the stuff that comes with the magazine. Yep. So you've got that full kit there for you, and it is a really cool kit. I can't wait to show you. And then I'm just going to 
So I've gone with our like sort of trusty foam pad strips. These are my favourites for what we're using frames. They're the perfect size. They are, actually are. There's no overhang or anything on there. It's just perfect. Um, so I'm just going to pop that sort of there. Just nearer the top. And then I've got this cute little shed that I'm going to stick on with some squares. These are great as well because they just give really good coverage. You don't have to sort of fill any gaps do you with these no you've no got, you've got you're all sorted you know that your toppers aren't going to be wonky or a bit soggy in the middle yeah because they're just gonna <laughs> still, still with the bacon I've got, I've got food on my food on my brain it's now like hunky dory tv how long did it happen 30 30 minutes well, actually it was before that so i'm going to say 25 minutes and we start talking about food already i know terrible oops yeah, it's like, yeah, it's 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 a it's always a good chat though, isn't it? Food, it like is. I can always I talk about food. food. Perfect. So I'm just gonna stick that on there. Oh, that chicken is so cute. There's some really fantastic artwork in these yeah. um, pop top pads. It's great. And, and like I say, I think you could easily do this one for like a lady or a gentleman. There's quite a lot of like cute little pink florals, a bit of poppies. You, you could just... use the cottage garden side of the paper pad. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot. There's loads you can do with this. And then I just want one of my thicker strips. It's looking great, this card though. Lots of people... Um, are loving it um, and saying that it looks so great already. Oh, thank you. Jackie said this card is looking fantastic, Rebecca. Oh, that's so nice. So I was a bit, um, obviously I was so excited, but I was like a bit nervous to come on and demo. I know, we did throw you in at the deep end. Yeah, I've been here a week. We did throw you in, um, but I knew you could do it. Yeah, definitely. I had all faith. Oh, Natalie, I love this sentiment. This says, sending a shed load of love. Oh. I just think some of them are so sweet. It's a bit <laughs> cheesy, but I think it's dead sweet. And then I'm just going to go in. So there's a smaller shed and then there's a chicken. And I'm just literally just going to pop a big square foam pad on. And then that's pretty much done. That is all you need to do. Such a quick card. I'm going to put that there. I love the layout you've used here, though. Oh, thank it's you. It's really fun. And you've used, you've used, like, most of the toppers as well, um, yeah. which is great. And it just shows you how... You can make sort of larger cards if you want to um, by utilising everything that you get included in your pop topper pad sheets. And I think because you get three designs, like you can be a bit like more extravagant because you've got another like couple of pages um, that you can, you know, you're not going to just one page and that's nope. it. Um, I'm just going to pop a little border on this bottom just to just to make just to fill a bit of that space. That five by seven panel is quite a bit bigger, so. Um, and like I say, you've got plenty to use. So, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut it down because that's always like you're just guaranteed oh, to cut it yeah, wrong. Yeah, you're guaranteed to create a disaster there. Aren't yeah, you? it's just the word. Even though you can measure it, put a pencil line on, yep. I can still almost get it wrong. So I'm just gonna pop, if I can squeeze it out. There we go. A bit of construction glue. I like to use construction glue on borders as well because again, it's quite forgiving. Yeah, there's, it, you, if you get it a little bit wonky, you've got that wiggle room just to straighten it out, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. I think everyone loves our construction glue. Oh, I think I it's do. sold out again on Creating Craft. Really? Um, we keep bringing it back. It keeps selling out. It's crazy. Push it up a little bit. Yeah, just so it's sitting above there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm just going to turn it round and chop the bit off the side. Perfect. And then I actually am going to just put the just a little topper just at the bottom. Yeah. And again, I'm going to go in with a little, I'm just going to cut down one of the strips. Emma says it's a lovely card. Great first demo. I agree, Emma. Um, Andrea says it's beautiful. Um, Nula is loving the backing paper on this. It's our um, cottage garden 
a beautiful burlax paper pad make sure you have a look go get it it's beautiful it really is perfect for this collection as well oh we've got another one for our um 101 things you can stick construction glue with uh pauline has just mended her watch nice that is such they're so good and then perfect i was thinking about some gemstones but i actually don't think no, it I needs think it. it's really nice i think because you've got that beautiful gold border running the whole way across it doesn't need it it's a fantastic card um thank you for that that was an amazing first demonstration well done to you rebecca thank you you're welcome first one in the bag some other makes um that we've got here that you could be doing with this collection we've got this wonderful um, Cricut one and I like how the tags have been used again here um, with some twine and this is using our um, maps um, paper so we've got this really nice distressed age papers on the back of that one or you could get quite fancy with your adorable scurrible pick out those colours um, that really dominate your toppers um, and make some nice border strips and then this one I love and I think I know who made this because she's done this before and it's a really clever idea um, I think this is one of our Rachel's um, and what she's done here is she's actually cut out um, the whole sheet of her popper topper pad and then she's taken and removed different layers so you've still got the outside edge with all that beautiful foiling and then she's just layered up and moved some of the patterns around um, and as you can see on that it gives you a really beautiful effect it's something that's so clever that she's done a few times I think she did a demo with it the last time we brought you some popper topper pads but it's a really really nice idea so that is your um, life of leisure next up we've got two um, more for you 11.99 on their own or 36 pounds if you want to get the whole bundle um, but this one is your fabulous florals I had to double check then because I was about to say it wrong um, our fabulous florals popper topper pad this one's going to be perfect for all the ladies there is not going to be one topper in here that you're not going to use for any occasion you've got beautiful roses in here you've got some hydrangeas um, great for lots of different occasions thank you cards birthday cards you've got some more traditional flowers like this really nice poppy um, selection here have a lovely day thinking of you on the top um, on the sentiments there um, this one's lovely if friends were flowers I'd pick you in a beautiful really large oval that could be the sort of sentiment um, statement piece of your card there then you've got some wonderful um, tulips in this really nice bright topper um, selection you've got some beautiful frames in here as well like these fancy labels um, I love the different styles that you've got running throughout um, you've got these sort of cut edged squares which are also lovely this would be perfect for maybe an anniversary card or um, with those subtle um, colours in then we've got the really fun florals with the um, jug here I think this one's great for sort of maybe younger teenagers would love this one as well uh, we've got lovingly handmade the birthday blooms just for you so there's a really nice selection um, in all of these toppers for lots of different occasions for lots of different age ranges as well I think um, I love this one with the deep flowers um, you could just imagine having this on some really nice cherry cardstock maybe a deeper um, that midnight blue adorable scorable that we have um, then this one's really pretty as well we've got thinking of you on your special day on your anniversary and sent with love up here on that one and then these pinks um, in this one is really nice and again another really nice large sentiment in here um, which is going to be perfect for using as sort of the centerpieces of your cards as well then we've got um, these beautiful lilies and then some more really bright fun colors as well and then I like this one. This one's really quite pretty with these blues. I think it's a, a beautiful colour, that one. Um, and then we've got some more card makes to show you with this one. Um, so here, again, utilising your adorable scorable pattern packs, that floral um, pattern packs that we've got just really brings out the colours in those flowers. Or how about doing something a little bit funky, um, chopping your card sort of like halfway and then creating... Um, uh, funny shapes cards not funny shapes but just different shapes and I love as well how um, the corners have been chopped off here 
just matches that really nice oval shape that you've got there. And then finally, our last one of the four is our It's a Cat's It's a Dog's Life Popper Topper Pad. Now, this was an amazing collection. It went so, so fast that we just had to bring it out in popper topper form for you because um, who doesn't want this artwork? And for dog lovers, for cat lovers, um, in the family, you're going to be making so many personalised cards. Maybe you're celebrating your, your dog's birthday. And loads of people do that we now. Do. And as well with this pad, you are just going to know someone that has you are. one of those cats, because one of those dogs. they are so um, specific for the cats and dogs in here. You've got the bulldog, um, the French bulldog and the pug there. Um, and these ones are just so cute with their little neckerchiefs yeah. on. Um, then you've got the cats here those beautiful like tabby cats with all the different colours that they have. You've got the spaniels um, and the little, I want, what is this one? Yorkshire. Yorkshire Terrier, that's what it is. I was going to say Yorkshire, but then I, was gonna, I wasn't going to say Terrier, so I was like, what, what which one is it? Uh, but these ones are so cute and you've got the little um, bone there as well, all wrapped up in a, a little bow. You've got the cats, these ones remind me of my sister's cats. Oh, that's cute. Little troublemakers. Um, and then you've got the cockapoo and the Labrador, which are just the cutest things ever. Um, then you've got the little cat being super troublesome, um, trying to get the fish there. But these ones are also great sentiments to my best friend. May, your, may all your wishes come true. Um, work hard, play hard with the little cat stealing the mouse there. So you can see how they're going to fit for lots of different occasions, for loads of different people, and they are going to love these cards as well. Um, on your birthday with love relax it's your special day with the little um spaniel there again then you've got the beagles these two just look like norman and honey um my best friend's dogs they are so cute and then there's one so ah, oh, they're so cute the little german shepherds absolutely adorable um, so this one is going to be so fun to create with and like we said there's not going to be one person that you don't know um, well, obviously unless they don't have any pets but there's not going to be one person that you're not going to be able to make a card for with this um, but how great is it that you can personalise it um, to match maybe they've got a new dog maybe they've got a new dash hound um, and you can send them like a welcome to the family card oh, yeah. Like it, a new baby, but a new dog. Because yeah. a lot of people are like fur babies they now. Are. Dog mums, dog dads. Yeah, they've all got them. So why not celebrate that as well? These super cute cats. Um, the blue Persians, I want to say. And then you've got... The, oh, I love this one. Oh, with the paper in his mouth. Just looking like, oh, I bought you your paper. Oh, so sweet. I've got your slipper. <laughs> Oh, little ginger cat. Because that's how every dog talks. Mm -hmm. um, this one's cute, isn't it? Yeah. So, so cute. And then you've got the sort of Siamese there. And these ones, I love these cats. I never know what they are, but they have striking blue eyes. And they're so pretty. But also, I'm very that's scared of ragdoll, cats. Is it? it might be, actually. I love that leopard print it frame. It might as well. be. Oh, it's so fun, isn't it? Yeah. And these these backgrounds and pieces here as well. You could you can use your um, maybe your punches. You can cut these down into strips, and you can add mirror. And you can actually use the backgrounds in a lot of these to actually extend your crafting. So that is the um, it's a cat's dog's life pop top of pad. It's filled with fifteen different designs. You're going to get three of each, and these are some of the cards um, you could be making. Um, these are some more of Rebecca's fantastic makes she's been doing um, over the last week while she's um, been with us. I love this one that you did as well. Um, making that little paw print for the corner of your card. It's just Aww. adorable. Um, then we've got some using our adorable scorable again. I love um, sort of the twisting of the frames there. It just adds so much to the, the shape of the card. Um, and then another one with that beautiful little Westie. That's the burlap pad as well. It is so isn't it? handy. It just works so well, and it actually kind of like matches the pattern that he's got on his little coat. Yeah, it's cute, it's isn't so it? So good. And then this one here, another one utilizing those beautiful border strips um, to make lots of different cards. And I think 
the different sizes and styles of cards that we've shown you as well really shows you how um, how much you can craft with these, whether you make some really small 5 by 5s or whether you make your 8 by 8 cards. There's loads that you can do with these um, pop top pads. They're £11.99 on their own or the best value, as always, is in our bundle because it's going to save you £11.96. It's £36 um, if you want to get that. And you can get that over on our website, hunkydurycrafts.co.uk. So let's head over to Rebecca um, for one more demonstration. I think she's going to use the fabulous florals pad and then we'll come right back here to show you our brand new Crafting with Hunky Dory magazine. Yeah, I'm going to use the um, fabulous florals um, just because, I don't know, spring, summer, they're just so cute. Um, I'm actually going to be using this sheet here because like you say it's quite um even though florals it's classic and like vintage and stuff um they're quite modern i think sketchy. so this style it's very fun yeah it's definitely like contemporary and i'm going to use a six by six for this one so i've cut like a miri mat down in silver um and then i think i'm just gonna um just just have fun with these toppers really they're just so nice you can have loads of loads and loads of fun with doing these types of cards. And I think like um, looking at sketch challenges yeah. as well is a really good one for these types of layouts Abs because absolutely. you've got all those different shapes in your, um, in your pads. So having sort of those different sketch ideas. Um, I remember when um, lovely Sheila was here, Sheila used to have a little book with all her different sketches in. So if she ever felt um, a little bit sort of like didn't know where to do she's a bit stuck for what type of card to make she would always look through a little notepad um, and she just had loads of drawings of different types of scar card sketches yeah uh, which I think is another really cool um, idea if um, to just draw them all out draw all your layouts out yeah, and definitely. you can make some great cards yeah definitely and as well like this one that I'm doing now I've used it on um like obviously i'm doing a six by six now but i've used it on a five by seven and it works great and um you know you just once you have it in your repertoire you can just sort of that was quite fancy um you can just go back to it and and know that it'll it's it'll always gonna good. work yeah yeah you can just sort of add it to your add it to your skills and and just like when you're stuck or like can't think of what to do i'm like i've used that layout before Lots of people are inquiring about the, the little brush that you're using. Oh, um, yeah. It's our three in one die brush. It's amazing. It really it is. It has um, a brush on the top, which is perfect for your die cutting. And then on either end, you have two little levers. One of them is a pokey tool, which is great for getting your tape off, um, for removing sort of bits and pieces off your card. And then the other side is like a little spade, um, which you can use for maybe if you're adding glitters. Picking up um, gemstones. It's great for picking your gemstones up as well. Yeah, it really is. And then, so I'm actually, so I've got a really nice sort of, not quite baby blue, but pastel -y blue colour. Um, I, I don't know the colours yet. I'm sorry. Oh, there's loads. Don't worry. Um, we'll, we'll get you, we'll get you in on our colour. I think it's just, a, just, that just comes with time. I was, um, I was showing off my skills yesterday, Emily, um, because you know how good I am at picking out colours from our prism collections <laughs> any ink color any pen color i can tell you what it is oh yeah you did do that yesterday it's, it's, it's a crazy skill that i have learned over time so i've got the blue and the pink just to pick up the colors in the toppers as well um you probably have noticed like with my previous card as well i am a, a bit matchy matchy I think it's good to be matchy matchy um, and especially when you've got these um, pop topper pads I think it's a great way to start for someone who maybe has never crafted before yeah, these um, would be or great. is just getting into it get your pop topper pads out get some adorable scorable that you possibly have or some coloured cardstock and start by picking out colours that you have in the topper sets because it it just helps you to be able to bring a card together quite quickly yeah absolutely like and and yeah you just know that it's just gonna if you're a beginner or if you don't have much time like you just know that they're just gonna work you don't have to spend ages like coordinating things or finding something but then like alternatively um i know we were talking about this the other day you can just go a bit wild and use you totally non-matching colors you can you can go totally crazy 
Um, okay, okay. So I'm just doing the mats and layers. I've not put it onto the silver mirror mat and to the card blank yet. I'm going to do that at the end. This is a good tip, you know, because I do that and I always mess up my layers. Yeah. So I've done like... I, I didn't really want the mirror like showing too much. I just want a really skinny border, but then I want a bigger a bigger gap between the adorable scoreable to yeah. show off the colours. Um, so yes, I'm going to do that. And then I've actually cut a little panel of Miri just to sort of go at a really nice quirky angle so that I can bring in this peachy colour, peachy oh, yellow. Oh, because they go with those flowers. Yeah, it just picks out that little bit of the topper and the little present. Um, so I have cut this one down to two and a quarter by four and a half. So it's like not too big, not too small. And then I'm just going to um, just do a little mat for that as well. Christine said, thank you. I need one of those tools. You do. You do. I didn't take my tool, my pokey tool to create and craft one time and it made me very sad. Um, it is a lifesaver in so many different reasons. Um, and that's they're, they're just so handy to have in your, your little craft bag. It's too short. Yeah, they really are. I love it for like getting the just getting the tape off like really quickly and easily. I don't I don't have time to peel back tape by hand. No. <laughs> Erica also says um, one thing that she does is she likes to photograph all of her cards. I do that. And then put them in an album. That's yeah. a nice way to be able to look back at everything you've made. I do that if I want to remember a layout. Take a little photograph. Yeah, and just save it on my phone. But it does mean that I've got like a hundred photos of cards. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's a little bit. Okay, we can we can roll with that. But yeah, that's that's with you saying like about the sketch challenges. I just like to just because I I can remember like the layout. And then if you've got some like similar shaped toppers or um, anything like that, it'll just, you just know it's gonna help you. Just, it's just a go-to, yeah. Um, this tape's just been a bit awkward. There we go. You can like feel it give, can't you, this tape? Yeah. It doesn't like to um, behave when you need it to. That's the problem. I know. With tape. Yeah, honestly, like practicing, I can do it two seconds flat, but like live demo, it's like, no. No, I'm not going to do that for you today. No, I know. Uh, that's why I've kind of just done some tabs just to like, just to make it a bit easier for myself. And then no, it just wants to stick in completely the wrong place, but that's fine. I do think making a bit of a tab like does give you a bit of like wiggle room it does it gives you that extra bit of just um sort of space where you can just pop pop your tape on or you can just move it off if you need to yeah yeah and then um and then i'm just gonna glue this on because it's adorable scorable it works quite well with construction glue it i does. do like double tape on miri but um yeah construction glue is just so handy for all those little bits and pieces. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm just gonna stick that on there and then I'm gonna put my toppers on. So I'm gonna go with the big kind of arch just here. Yeah. Yeah, cause I've just gone a little bit funny with my mat and layering. So I can just cover that up with that. And I think that's great. The, a good thing about crafting, you know, is that it doesn't matter sort of what you do or if you possibly like go wrong in some way. It's only you that's going to know. And you can always adjust the way that you're going to make the card. Oh, yeah. To hide it. And no one will ever know. I, I, I've, I've got an A in, uh, in damage control with card making. <laughs> um, floor... Covering up floors is, is a specialty. Yeah, I think we all sort of get to that point. You're just like... Yeah, I'm not going to do this again. It's fine. What I can do is I can just adjust this and no one will ever know. Exactly. Um, perfect. It does mean that I might have to just adjust my layout a bit, but it's fine. We can pop. Maybe... Might... I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to have it kind of on the edge. That's quite cute, actually. And then... It looks very cute like that. 
this was this was not how I wanted to do it, but it's totally it fine. works though. It works. Yeah. I've I've definitely gone rogue. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We're we're all a little bit crazy here. Yeah, luckily it's it's not too bad. Um perfect. But you tend to find that like like I say if you if you can sort of just like I say, just cover it up, change the layout or whatever. You're not wasting anything. Like no. it'd just be a shame, like just because I've done that border a bit skinny, to just waste it when I can just cover it up and it'll still be fine. It's still gonna work. It's still gonna work. Um, besides which, it's it's real life and it's live, so yeah. <laughs> the, these things happen. These things happen. Uh, okay, okay. I'll just put that one on there. And then I do want, I don't want to kind of like separate these toppers, so I'm putting the foam pads like over both sides, like both, oh, okay. both of the things, because I don't really want them to come oh, apart. Oh no, because once you've got them apart, you can never get them back. I know, and it just doesn't, it's just not the same. So I'm just going to just, so I'll just put the big ones over it for like good coverage. And then, like I say, I just don't want that border to pop out, that frame. So I've just put these two little skinnier ones on here. And then I'm just going to squeeze that on there, just over the edge. And then... This is looking so fun. I really, really like it. Yeah, I, I love, like, again, um, another sort of damage control tip is to... Lots of jaunty angles. <laughs> it was supposed to be jaunty angles, though. That is, that is genuine. <laughs> um, no, I think it's nice because a lot of people do, um, do sort of like to stick to that um, squares and nice shapes and making sure that everything's perfectly in a position but sometimes it's nice to just do something a little bit different make it it makes it a lot more fun um, when you're crafting as well yeah absolutely and I think because the flowers in this particular topper um, like page I think because they're so sketchy and like modern, I think it kind of looks good with a bit of a... Yeah, it adds to the feel, doesn't it? For the whole card to sort of have that um, quirky, quirky feel to it. Yeah. And I think as well, using different shapes like this, um, your cards are sort of going to be great for um, younger audiences as well. Yeah, Because they're a lot more funky um, and they're different and they look really cool. Yeah, I think so, and it, they're just they're just so nice to just kind of, and then I'll just pop that lovingly handmade, and then I'm gonna go in with oh, absolute favorite, um, the pearly gemstones. I love these gemstones. Oh, I do. And that set that you're using is my particular favorite. The yeah, is this the, um, the tropical best. tropical twist? Yes. Yeah. Me too. That's I think because so they've fun. got pinks, there's a like, little bit of orange, um, they're creams. Super, super they're just, they actually, they're really versatile, this pack. I think you look at them and think, oh yeah, girly sort of like feminine cards, but actually they're really useful for like oranges, creams, neutrals. And no matter what colour you use from that set, I think every single one would have worked with the card that you've just made. Yeah, you could have used the peachy or like the really pale peach. Um, I've kind of gone for the sort of bright corally pink and then I'm just going to pop that now onto my card bank. It is looking fantastic. It's getting there. Um, yeah. But it's just nice to use like the plain adorable scoreable and just let the colours kind of pop. Sue has um, commented, it's very funny actually. She says, I'm intrigued to how Rebecca can guess the length of sticky tape she needs perfectly. Every single time she has guessed it. Exactly right. I know, I'm having a, yeah. I'm, I'm having a good a good day a good with the tape. tape. It is. I'm not to, There's been one little cheeky little tab there, and, and that I've used on a topper. But yeah, the rest of it, I have. Uh, You've done very well. I've done all right with the length today. Just peeling it off is another story. There we go. Lots of people are loving the layout of this card. Jane said it's a great card. Um, Maria 
asked, what tool is that that you're using to move the gems? It's our three-in-one die brush. Yeah, it's just um, this little... It's um, so, so good. Just this um, end. You've got your little scooper there that you can use with your gems. The other side's a pokey tool, which is perfect for um, lifting your tape. And then you've got the brush at the top for using with your dies. But if you're not a die cutter, it's great for um, just having in your craft stash because it's so helpful sometimes. I mean, you can use the brush to even sort of like mess up your cardstock if you want in a grungy look to it um there's so much uses for for that tool yeah it's it's so handy i've used it loads absolutely loads there we go that is done i love that it's bit, so fun it really is piece. really fun um but you did a great job of um of sort of bringing it back it's another fantastic card um if you want to get the pop topper pads that rebecca has used today then you can do that 11.99 for each pad or you can get them for 36 pounds next up i'm going to show you through um i'm not going to show you through actually i'm not sure what i should do here i might give you a little bit of a sneak peek um but it's our brand new crafting with hunky dory magazine issue 59 now lots and lots of people are ordering this lots of people are talking about their um, subscriptions as well it's definitely something to look into you can get um you can become a platinum member of our club um, included in that membership, you're going to also receive six copies of our Crafting with Hunky Dory. Um, they're delivered straight to your door for when you um, order your magazine. So it's really, really fun. And then, like I said, the magazine is filled with loads of stuff. You've got a lovely message from our amazing Anne there, who I'm actually missing quite a lot because she's not been in the office very much. You've got the contents with all the different um, pages in, and then it's filled with loads of stuff. You've got the crafty chat where we've got some of your amazing makes as well. Um, and then we've got some projects using our kit, which I am going to show you. So I'll just flick through these pages. Um, you can see there's some fantastic cards here using this brand new topper collection, which is just because, um, and it's so cute. It's got these little bees on it. I'll show it you um, very shortly. Then we've got lots and lots of things. I'm just going to flick through um, so you can't properly see but you've just got a little bit of hint there i love this that we do on the back of the pages as well we've got templates for all um card models um that need them or that are a little bit funky um, we've got some fantastic giveaways um and lots of different features for you to peel your eyes on but that is our magazine and also let's just show you this little sneak peek of what's coming very soon <laughs> christmas coming. is coming <laughs> It's crazy, we will be making Christmas cards next week. Um, that's how sort of ahead of the game we are. But let's have a look at that top collection you're gonna receive in your free gift because for £8.99 you're gonna get all of this um, and it's incredible. It is a full um, topper set. It's our hunky dory quality on that um, adorable, scorable, amazing um, cardstock. It's got some beautiful patterns. You can see here, um, this one has the beautiful big um, oval and circle shape. I love using these ones on big cards. Um, adding these borders in as well to break them up a little bit, but it's so cute. The toppers on here read, um, you'll always be my number one, made especially for you. Just, just to say, oh no, it says lots of love to the, to the love bugs and to become one, but it's Aww. spelt like become one because they're bees and it's so cute. And then you've got some fantastic um, cardstock here that you're going to get so fun with fussy cutting, creating really nice backgrounds, creating stepper cards, easel cards, loads of different things um, that you can make with these. This one's a really fun topper set. Um, it has a really nice scallop edges around the whole section. You've got the honey bee there with their honeys in their beehive. Super, super fun. This one is a cardstock for fussy cutting. I'm telling you, cut these little corners off add them to some acetate, add them to um, some fronts of your cards and then have this in the background. It's to die for. Um, then we have this beautiful sort of honeycomb effect with the beautiful flowers running down the side. Um, and then next up we have, um, what's this one called? The bee's knees. Aww. This is a great one. Um, so this one says, from bee to you, well done. You are the bee's knees. And then you've got some wonderful, really nice big toppers in there that you can see these are all foiled and die cut so you just press them out um the amazing hunky dory quality that you know from all of our collections um but this one's free completely free with your magazine 
Um, not only do you get this top set, but you're also going to get something else, which I'm going to show you, which I, I think is possibly maybe the first time we've ever done it in a magazine, which is very, very fun. Um, foiled um, cardstock with that one as well. And then finally, uh, we have this super cute one, which is bright and breezy. Uh, and you've got that really big um, B there. You've got the very cute topper that says, um, happy birthday. Um, you, you mean the world to be. So there's loads of very punny um, sentiments on here. If you wanted to, you could definitely mix and match these with your sentiment pads. Um, and then you've got some more beautiful cardstock, which you can see is foiled across the bottom there. And then this beautiful, really nice stripy pink one that we have included as well. So that is your topper set that you're going to receive for free. But not only are you going to get this, and you're going to be able to make loads and loads of cards with these, um, we are also giving you our first ever in a magazine, um, bite-sized little book. Um, so this is the bite-sized little book of Just Be Cars. In here, you're gonna get 72 pages, so it is half the size of our regular little books. Um, you're gonna get 12 designs, and there are um, six of each in here, so you get exactly the same as your topper set. So you can see the ability you're gonna get here to decoupage these up, cut them out, maybe use them as elements on your card. Um, here we go, you've got the bees there watering the flowers. Um, which is actually really funny because bees eat the flowers, don't they? Pollinate. Pollinate the flowers. Uh, you've got the two little love bugs there, which I love. That's going to make a fantastic card for an anniversary, maybe a wedding. Um, it's just adorable. I think the artwork in here is really cute. It's super stylized, and I know that people are going to love it. Again, maybe if you're, you've got a friend that's just getting into crafting, why not get them this magazine because you've got a full kit in here, you've got a full little book, and it's a nice little taster um, to what we offer at Hunky Dory. Maybe you're watching for the first time and you're wanting to get into crafting, then um, this is definitely a great place to start with our crafting with Hunky Dory magazines because you're going to get full loads of inspiration, loads of tips and tricks for um, things that you can do with your collection, including this one that I am showing you. Um, and then this one's very nice, isn't That's it? Sweet. Hello Sunshine. And although these are A6 in size, so you could just make A6 cards in these, you can cut these up, you can make them into squares, um, you can use your dies in here, you can do some pyramage, some invitage there. The possibilities are endless, um, but it's such a cute collection. It comes with your magazine, which you can get on our website um, for £8.99, a Crafting with Hunky Dory issue 59. So that's all on our website for you. And I think that that is everything for today. Uh, but it's been a fantastic show. We've had some amazing demos from Rebecca. So congratulations because they were amazing. Oh, first, first, you did first so show well. In the back. You've done. You've done it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to repeat that winning weekly question because it's a great one this week. Um, if you weren't here at the beginning of the show, four lucky people are going to win our decoupage books. There's three to choose. There's three here that you are going to win. Um, you're going to win the lovely ladies, Teddy Loves and the Midnight Garden. The question you need to answer this week is um, how many years was the longest bout of hiccups? Was it A, 11 years, B, 29 or C, 68? Um, you need to like, share and comment with your answer to be in with the chance of winning and we will announce the winners on Friday's show. Um, coming up on our schedule, um, you'll have seen the launch of childhood dreams this morning at half past seven um but tune in at 3 p.m today for a second look at that childhood dreams with pauline wheeler on create and craft tv um, i'm going to add a product to the rollover box we've got our round corner punch that's going to be added for someone to possibly win um, and then we are taking a trip back to a memory uh, taking a trip back with the new childhood dreams um, collection on Friday at 10 a.m. I think it's me and Kat, um, so we're going to be here to run you through that. But it is a very, very classic kit. It's beautiful. I think lots of people are going to love it. There's some great upsells with that as too. But that is all from us. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Have you had a good time, Rebecca? I have had a great time. Thanks everyone for having me. You've been fantastic. We can't wait to see you again um, next week for sure. Um, but we will see you all on Friday for another. Um, Hunky Dory TV? Mm -hmm.